Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and in this quick tutorial I am going to show you how we can resolve this error while using the pastepin.com that this site can't be reached whether you are using this uh, Chrome browser, Brave browser, any other browser it shows you this message pastepin.com DNS address could not be found diagnosing the problem DNS prob possible so let's get started and let's see a couple of solutions and one of them might work for you so what we can do is just go to the control panel in step one, just go to the internet and uh, network and sharing settings. And where do you see this Wi-Fi that you are currently connected to? Just click on that link. And from here, let's go to the properties again and just search for the internet protocol version four. Go to the properties. Now by default, in most of the cases, it is set to automatic. So if it is already set to manual, then before making any changes, just ask your internet provider or an IT guy if you're using especially in office. So uh, just ask that it doesn't cause any problem. Otherwise, if it is set to automatic, that shouldn't be a problem because you're not accessing a server or something like that that is connected in office. Now here it says obtain DNS service automatically. I will use this one, which I can write right here, eight, and then press forward key, eight, eight, and eight and in the second line eight eight four and four so let's click ok and close and let's try it again let's try to open this website now and it should work and as you can see that it is now working but if it doesn't work for you let's see the step two solution now the method two that I am going to try is just go to the start menu and write here CMD and make sure that you right click and click on run as administrator. That's very important step. And wherever on whatever location you are, just write this command here. And by the way, I will mention all of these commands with the link of this video so that you can follow along. Just copy and paste that in the command prompt and it should work. So let's write. So I have mentioned my command here. Let's press enter and it will show you this message successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. So just restart your computer. So let's restart the computer and see the further process. So again, if it works for you, that is great. And if it doesn't work for you, let's move to the next solution. And that is device manager. So you can go to the start menu and write here device manager directly, and it will take you to this area. And just go to the network adopters right here and just click on the one that you were using for your network. So let's say I'm using this one. Just right click on that and click on update driver and just click on browse my computer for drivers and click on let me pick from the list of available drivers on my computer. That's very important. So you can try either the first one or an alternative one, whatever you like, and then just click on next and it should update your driver. And after that, when it shows Windows has successfully updated your drivers, maybe it will refresh all of these properties and just connect to the internet again. And after that, you can try this website. And as you can see that it's already working. So if this helps guys do like this video because that really helps me out and also comment down below what method works for you so that it can help all the community, all the people out here searching for the solutions they might check your command and that method should work for them as well. So just mention down below and like this video. So with this said, this is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.